James Creedon. <laughs> who who for, needs and, people? For another aspect. Who needs people? Well, we need <laughs> people. Really we need, we need people, and, that's, and we like people, and let's, let's <laughs> vote for people. You've been looking at the Choose France campaign to promote yes. investment from foreign companies uh, in France, especially in the light of... Um, Brexit. Brexit. Yeah. <laughs> because so, we get away from Brexit, can we? This is it. It was more of a story yesterday, but there's still some coverage of it today. This was when uh, the, all of the, you know, the, the, there were several mm. uh, CEOs invited out to Versailles mm. uh, as part of this charm offensive, uh, the slogan being Choose France. And uh, uh, so there's been this big drive uh, since uh, the beginning of the Macron presidency to really uh, re-establish France as a place that is business friendly, is efficient, is uh, innovation friendly. And uh, uh, there's been some very snappy slogans such as choose France and France is back and they were rolled out in China for example and they're being rolled out and now successively in Davos and elsewhere everywhere Macron goes France is back. Is there a sense that Macron's behind this? Macron's responsible for this? His C image? His, his certainly he's the face moving? of it. Certainly he's the face of it and I would say the Elysee has been uh, central to that and so uh, on our own website today there was this article focusing more on the banking sector and France's renewed push to attract and you know they, 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 there are various uh, um, in financial incentives for example being exempt from paying into uh, uh, retirement programs, also a thousand extra places in bilingual lycée, uh, lycée secondary schools across uh, the Paris region. So a real effort to charm people. And this is just a look at what uh, the politicians, some of the politicians uh, such as Emmanuel Macron, were writing on their social media accounts. Meeting, for example, Facebook uh, executives. Uh, Facebook's continued investment in our research and our, um, artificial intelligence ecosystem shows the strength of our academics. Hashtag choose France. To every business leader across the world, here is why you should rest in France. Hashtag choose France in a snappy video that we probably don't really have time to look at. But the, the Prime Minister, again, in eight months, this government has worked very hard to make it easier to invest in, move to, work in and live in France. Hashtag choose France. What about the Economy Minister? Uh, also, uh, with that hashtag choose France... I suspect they spoke to each other. And, and another, all in English. And I, I was impressive. just about to say it. Another <laughs> no, thing you might no. have noticed, they're I'm, all I'm, tweeting I'm, in I'm English. I'm suppressing laughter thinking about the bureaucracy and the hoops I had to jump through back in 2006 when I started working here. Right. And all the things you had to go through and yeah. everything being duplicate and triplicate. It was absolute chaos. Right. So let's hope all that has changed. Well, there is a will to, to, to trim back the red tape. Uh, but certainly having the president, the prime minister, the economy minister mm. uh, 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 singing off the same hymn sheet in English is actually a real sign of, the language of, of changing times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, just speaking of Bruno Le Maire, 120 foreign corporate leaders in Versailles today. The meaning of this gathering France is back. Now, that push by Bruno Le Maire and some of his talking points were picked up by one a German Twitter user. Uh, this was actually embedded in our article on the France, uh, France24.com uh, website. Bruno Le Maire is making the case for banks to relocate to Paris instead of Frankfurt. Ask your spouse whether she'd rather spend a weekend here or there. That's the killer argument. No comment from Guntram Wolf, who I think, as a German, is probably perhaps less impressed with uh, the suggestion that Frankfurt is no place to spend a weekend. But actually, that developed into a whole debate on his Twitter thread. Catherine White saying, that assumes a no-kid household. Uh, families with school-aged children will find themselves in the commuter belt uh, in either Paris or London and may find Frankfurt more family friendly. So Frankfurt's a nice city. So do you see this nice whole city. this whole debate poaching the, 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 the British mm. financiers out of the city and <laughs> but, if, but, if, but if British financiers come out, they'll be able to buy the Champs Elysees, won't they, Delano? They'll be able to all the money in business. They'll, they'll be pricing us out. <laughs> no, this is the problem. I'm already way out of Paris. That's it. You know, sort of, I'm sensible in many ways, but you know. Now, do we have time for two headlines? For you, the, yes, of course we do. Two headlines in the British press because I think it's funny to look at their reaction. Choose France. This is the Express. Uh, Emmanuel Macron tries to snatch business from UK after Brexit. Emmanuel Macron has launched his own project fear campaign in an attempt to snatch businesses from the UK. Now the prize for me goes to The Telegraph. Macron speaks English at Versailles and lunge for post-Brexit business as rats plague the streets of Paris. <laughs> OK, are these actual rats? <laughs> well, I think this is related to the flood, right? I think, okay, I, yeah. I think the rats have been forced out the sewers. So they are, okay. they are very unfairly sticking two unrelated stories together. Been watching France 24, but that's, that's <laughs> some would say that's called journalism. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> but I, I quite liked that uh, subtle editorialising. In, in we in have no headline. rats in the studio. <laughs> I can vouch for these gentlemen; they're both very sound. Mosquitoes, and occasionally mosquitoes. <laughs> sometimes, and we did have the odd sort of mouse in the canteen once or twice, didn't we? But everything's <laughs> okay, really, isn't it? They've no. been dealt with. They've they're been good, dealt with, good stuff. Yes. Good stuff. Okay.